our good friends have this Volvo truck up for sale. Marty, come tell us about it. 2015 Volvo VNL 730. It's been lengthened and the axles rolled back to carry more weight towards the rear. And then a 16 and a half foot box has been put on the back where you can drive the Jeep into the back of the box, close it up, and then you've got an ET hitch on the back for pulling as large a RV fifth wheel as you might want. Uh, it's a D13 engine with I think tuned to 425 or 455 with about 1700. And 50 foot pounds of torque. It's got the 12 speed I shift transmission, which means you don't even have a clutch pedal and it takes care of all the shifting for you. Uh, it's got 635,000 miles on it so far for a, a million mile truck. It's nothing. The wheelbase is 282 inches and its bumper to bumper is 40 feet. And it's been titled in California as a motorhome, so it shouldn't be difficult to title it that way or something very similar. Uh, in another state where you save quite a bit on paying for the commercial tags. We had this box installed. It's got a uh, internal stairs where you can go up inside. Then there's a steel plate that covers this so that when you pull the Jeep in, the right front tire rests right there. And what size Jeep do you have? We have a four-door Jeep. Uh, so it'll take any four-door Jeep out there. Unfortunately, it won't take the Gladiator pickup. They're too long. We've got cabinets up in the front for a lot of storage, which the hood kind of slips under. Then this, this, uh, this ramp, integral ramp, was added so that we could put the aluminum ramps on the back and drive the Jeep up inside. Just like that. And then you have a regular hitch for a fifth wheel on it. Yeah, yeah, I've got that air right ET hitch and I've set it up with a dump mechanism that when there's no air applied it goes all the way down so you don't have to worry about the, the transfer case cross member hitting as you pull up inside. And then there's four anchor points, two in the rear and two in the front. Holds the Jeep very securely. It's inside out of the weather. They're currently asking 75000 Okay, let's go inside the truck. And how can somebody contact you if they're interested? They can call me at area code 530-228-6318 or contact me via email Marty Main M-A-R-T-Y-M-A-I-N-49 at gmail.com. Let's hear about the inside here. So this is Volvo's uh, standard mid-size sleeper. So Mid-height rather than the tallest but not the shortest. And uh, we've added a lot of USB ports into the dashboard as well, as well as back in the sleeper portion. Um, we've got a rear view safety cameras, uh, both to look at the hitch and anything that's behind the vehicle. We have the direct link electric brake controller that's been added. Also a TPMF system from TST to monitor the, both the pressure and the temperature of all the tires. Already got a CB radio in here. So it's not quite as tall as the 780s or 880s. Now behind you there is a double bunk. The one on top is a little narrower than the one on the bottom. And the one on the bottom can be converted into a dinette workstation with a table. And it's got all the cushions where you can set up and sit two people on either side of the table. So you could conceivably take along grandkids or whatever by the addition of seat belts. And uh, they would enjoy a ride in the back. And there's USB uh, chargers in the back so the kids can play with their games or whatever while you're going down the road. A, a television with a uh, Blu-ray Blu DVD, uh, integral uh, uh, OEM refrigerators in here. Works fine. Batteries are relatively new. Tires are relatively new. It's in good shape. And this is what will fit in there. Y'all give Marty a call. Absolutely. He's kept this up very nicely. Nice truck.